the launch of the Mercer Report Spread the Net Student Challenge, students in this country have raised $1.5 million for the purchase of anti-malaria bed nets in Africa. Partnered with Plan Canada, 10 bucks buys a net and saves a life, which means young people in this country have saved an awful lot of lives. There are three top earners in this year's competition, but we are starting here on the shores of Lake Huron in Deborah, Ontario, for a very special honorable mention to Central Algoma School. <laughs> the biggest school in Canada or the richest school in Canada, but you're certainly the most enthusiastic school in Canada. <laughs> Malaria is the number one killer of children in Africa. It kills more children than all other diseases combined. That said, the infection rate of malaria has gone down 58% since the year 2000. <laughs> 58%. How many students in the school? 180 in the 7-8 program. And how much money did you raise? $4,604. That is unbelievable. Yeah, they it, must feel really great about it. They this. are very pleased. The $10 is a net that will save lives. They could get their heads around that. Mm -hmm. And it was like, two more lives saved. So they're my opponents. I have to get past them and stomp on the, the Frisbee that has a mosquito on it. You got it. And it doesn't hurt when you fall over? No. <laughs> Come on, Trent. You can do it, buddy. That's good. How does one get up? Spread the net and bonk a kid. <laughs> spread the net, spread the net. <laughs> Get up, because he doesn't have the stomach muscles. <laughs> bonk, bonk. How did I do? Not bad. That's good, I'll take it. Spread the net! Balmoral Hall School in Winnipeg, Manitoba is an all girls school where the students major in social justice. This school has raised over $12,000 for Spread the Net, meaning this school has raised more money than any school in Canada. Hello, Balmoral Hall, how are you? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if people in Winnipeg are the most generous in Canada or if you just hate mosquitoes more than anyone else. <laughs> You guys are part of this club, this social justice club, correct? What's the name of the club? Uh, Girls for the World. What is the idea behind Girls for the World? I think that we're just working together. It's like we're a little family and we're working so that everyone else has the same rights and the same opportunities that we do. Why would you join a club like Girls for the World? There's lots of clubs to join. To make yourself aware, to make other people aware, to become a better person, to learn how to help other people. That's four excellent reasons. <laughs> are being pummeled with balls. I like that. You gotta throw the ball to Karen over there, okay. and if she catches it, you go on the bench and try to catch more balls. Oh, I get to join the bench? Yeah. And if I accidentally hit a teacher? Then it's fine. That's cool. All righty. I know where I'm throwing the ball. OK. <laughs> where do you get the balls? Excuse me. Yes, I, now I join. Did we win or lose? We lost. Oh, well. Spread the net! Welcome to Mackville Public School in Caledon, Ontario. A small school with a very big heart. 240 kids from kindergarten to grade eight raising $12,000 for Spread the Net. Let's go inside. guys, you bought a lot of bed nets, and a lot of kids are going to go to sleep under bed nets, and a lot of kids are going to be safe and healthy because of you right here in Mackville. So give yourselves a big hand. Yeah. 
you guys made necklaces and you sold them and you raised money for Spread the Net, right? Yeah. You pick a nail polish. Oh, do you? And how does this help me make a necklace? <laughs> What's that? I don't put it on my nail? No, no. Oh! How much would I sell that for? Two dollars. How much does a pen cost? Two dollars. Two dollars. And where does the money go? Spread the net. That's right. Good job. Now, what do you know about Spread the Net other than it's really a lot of fun and you get to be on TV? Um, we know that every ten dollars gives uh, a child in uh, Africa a bed net, so it can go over their bed at night and they won't be bitten by uh, mosquito carrying malaria. Well, that's excellent. So you got to pie one of the teachers? Yes. Now, which teacher did you get to pie? Mr. Fisher. Now, how did you get to pie Mr. Fisher? That sounds like a huge honor. Well, there was ballots, and for every $5 you donated, you get a ballot. Okay. I donated $140. No way, $140? Yeah. Where did you get $140? From collecting it over six years. Congratulations, that's amazing. Do you feel good about that? Yes. And plus, you saved lives and you got to pie, Mr. Fisher. Yep. Good deal. There, there we go. Okay. You want to save your nice shirt? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I think a trip to Niagara Falls is in the works.